It'll take long. Okay. So we're on our tram going to Animal Kingdom today. And it's a nice empty tram. We are full. It's about quarter to ten, so to make a people very are short streaming in. Temporary stop to allow a our sister tram who's exiting the main entrance allow them to clear completely then we'll be pulling right on in all right so we are here we are at bag check and after we go through bag check then we're going through the metal detector and thank you have a good day and so we're gonna shut this down here because this has to go and I and so this is the Disney's Animal Kingdom. There's a nice elephant head there. And we are going through the mass of people some more to get in. Now that we went through the bag check and we went through... Uh, we didn't have to go through the metal detector. I guess only certain people go through that. Oh, but this looks like it's a little... Packed. It was funny, there was no traffic coming in today. However, uh, this looks rather tight. All right, so I think I'm gonna sh let you go for here and we'll catch you on the other side. Okay, so we are in now and we are walking up. Through the rainforest. Through the rainforest. The sweltering rainforest. The average Joe. Hi. The average Joe's wife. And there's usually some things along the way, but not too much. No, not many animals out. Let's see. That's a bird. Uh, nothing in the water. Nothing on the hill. Okay, some birds. All right. Birds eating melons. Yeah. Sometimes you see the anteater along here, but he doesn't appear to be out today. Uh, we're in the rainforest, and it's July. Oh, it's a wild squirrel. I have nothing for you, bud. The animal kingdom. This I is never I knew live. they had whiskers. Um, you're I've too never friendly. seen one this close. I don't have any Mentos. Okay, he's gone. Squirrels love Mentos. They're the fresh maker. Yes. The There's a white chicken with a long beak. Oh yeah. Okay. I'm not sure it's one of the captive ones. I think he just flew in for some food. Like the squirrel. Like the squirrel. Those are the locals. <laughs> They're local animals. So. All right. All right. I think I'll let you go here, and then when we get to Avatar, we'll start up again. All right. So we're going over the bridge into the world of Avatar Pandora, and, and again, it's very crowded. We were here the first night we got here at night at like, uh, I don't know, midnight. And it was not so crowded, but it was dark, very dark in here at night. Then the flowers are lit up and it's very nice, but <clears throat> there's a lot of these. Joe? A lot of these decorations here. They're very, uh, I don't know what you call them, Pandorian. <laughs> And they're beautiful. Very nice. Very calming. And here's the plants. This is uh, obviously a picture taking spot, so we'll move on. I'm the photographer. And just look at this huge flower type thing. All right, um, I don't know what's in over here, so let's go find out. Uh, oh, it's water, some type of little river, and barnacle-like things. 
Sorry about that. Trying to zoom in here. There are like barnacle like things on the rocks. And there are flowers. And this is all illuminated at night. You see in some of our other videos. Uh, and you hear the cooing of some type of animal or avatar or. I, I, I'm not I'm not a big fan of the series, but I'm guessing that Pandora is the planet and Avatar is the creature, I think. Something like that. Well, I guess I'll have to watch that movie. Yeah, we haven't seen it. But uh and okay. I, I don't think it has nothing to do with Harry Potter. It's a completely different series of movies. Right, I think there's only one movie now, but they're making a couple more. That's yes. Yeah, okay. Alright, so we'll make our way over to around the corner. We don't have a map. We didn't do a map. Oh. Now we have made our day. You want to do this? You can earn lots of badges. This is perfect for you today, okay? Nice, there's only four animals. This is the World Music Explorer. We're going to take the children from the movie up. Okay. Now, you want to get your first badge right here? We're gonna get our botany badge. We just got the study of those plants we have on here. That's us We got some really cool plants in here. Do you recognize any of these plants? Fly trap, yeah. You know what happened? You might not know the exact name, but you know what types of plants they are. Now we can, we can try to help you figure out which ones those are. Okay. You know that one's up. And there's There's some more little information over here. And we're gonna walk. All right, let's go. Uh, To the right. And we haven't been down here because we didn't go on uh, the flight of passage the first night we were here. We did go on the Navi River ride. And as you can see, it's packed, well packed today. I imagine people were in the other parks for the 4th of July and such, so. And this is the other view of the forest here. It's got some water and some more of those things on it. All right, and now we see the floating mountain that they talk about. And that is really magnificent. It was very dark at night. We couldn't see too much, but that floating mountain, it's really pretty darn cool. All right. And so you can see some of these flowers here. It's kind of hard to tell which ones are real and which ones aren't, but those light up at night. I believe those are just lights. They illuminesce. I don't know what that means. And we go down here. So there's always some special people. We're not sure who they are, but they're with uh, Disney executives. And they're getting pictures over there. So maybe some of you will know who this is. We do not. <laughs> and, and in the background, again, you can see the floating mountain. All right, so we have find out, found out who this crew is. This is Andrew Lloyd Webber, uh, creator of Cats and Phantom of the Opera. I think if I got that right. And must be his family. And they're just having a wonderful time here. And um, so they're taking all family photos, I would assume. Yep. And that is him right there in the gray shirt. And I think they're done. Lloyd Webber, creator of the opera.
All right, so this is another view of the floating mountain. You can see it all the way up there. All the bright flowers. And you're in the rainforest as usual. And we're going on the flight of passage now. As soon as we find, it's always fun to go for the first time. So, um, we're gonna try this way. Uh, nope, let's try this way. Which way? Okay, let's try. You see anything that says fast pass? Yeah, it's up there right here. Oh, okay. It is just wall to wall people today. Why don't you shut down there? Hello. So we just rode uh, the ride of the Banshee. The flight of the Banshee. Flight of a. No, flight of a. Well, the one where you ride on the Banshee. It anyway, was phenomenal. It was phenomenal. It was the best ride I've ridden at Disney. It was absolutely phenomenal. It was. It's very hard to explain, but you are immersed, immersed in flying on this Banshee. You feel it breathing. You feel it in the stomach. You feel uh, everything. Breathing. I mine had gas, but it's it's incredible. I don't think it did. But anyway, so we're in the, of course, the um, gift shop, and so. They have you see that better? So they have a statue over there. I don't remember her name. I'm not really up on the movie, but it was phenomenal even if you didn't see the movie or remember the movie. Uh, they have a whole lot of things here. I'm sure these things light up at night and they have some flip-flops. They have glow-in-the-dark things here. There's a backpack, sweatshirt. Navi River Journey. All glows in the dark. And up above, they have all this decoration from the ceiling. We have some frightening creatures for your children. And this looks like my cat when she gets angry. She has a tendency to bite, so more of these creatures. Okay, so I have some information. This okay. is the store where they sell the banshees that sit on your shoulder uh, in the rookery. The little pet banshees, the rookeries are over there in the corner. However, it, they come in on a day-to-day -day basis and they usually sell out within the first hour or two. So they are sold out already and those are stuffed animals they've placed in the rookery over there. Those are not the actual banshees. Uh, so the guys we have like, seen few people with them on their shoulders. they're super cool. They're really, really creative. And uh, in the middle here, they have this little uh, build your own Navi necklace. That's pretty cool. And, uh, um, it's great because it looks like it's for boys. So the, you don't have a lot of stuff for boys. You put a feather on, you put some beads, some jewels. The jewels are over here. And you get a necklace. So if you need something for your son, it's a good idea. Something for boys. These are Tell You Gummy Candies. Those are three gummy grubs on a stick. All made right. Of candy. How does it get any better than that? So, if you want to eat some gummy grubs, those are good. Yeah, they have a bunch of candy things over here. Uh, let's see. Different stuff because it's Navi. Uh, uh, it's like confetti. Coconut brownie bites, but Navi food. They're Navi food. And they have some flight of passage. That's the ride. Flight of passage. That's what we just rode. And so there is a whole lot of stuff here. 
These are exactly maybe keychains uh, of some type. Yeah, a keychain of some type, I think. Uh, I don't know. Flashlight. Uh, flashlights. Oh, yeah, flashlights. They may have them turn. Oh, no, oh, there they are. Yeah, they work well. The flashlights. And the flashlights are twelve ninety nine. Have little Pandora cups. Lots of hats and t-shirts. And let me see, they have some drinks in the gift shop. And they have, all over the place, they have these decorations. I don't exactly know what they're made out of and I don't really want to touch them and get my hand on them, but they are just everywhere. And they hang from the ceiling. And if I find anything else that I find of interest, I will show you. I think we're on the way out. So we'll walk over here. They have some kind of, I think it's the floating island mug. That's a heavy mug. $22.99. Cool. I'd be afraid to drink out of it, though. Yeah. I'd put pencils and pens in it or something yeah. like that. Yeah, it's a pencil holder. That's neat. Because it's very heavy. It won't tip over. Yeah, it won't tip over, that's for sure. Oh, oh and they have... Limited edition magic bands. Magic bands? You're See. only allowed to purchase two. Uh, <laughs> it just looks like a blue magic band. Okay. But, oh, they have the floating mountains out of an Navi. All right, so do it slow. So we can get it... All right. There they are. Floating Pretty cool. Mountains. It's limited to 5,000 production run. Okay. I have a magic band. You have a blue magic band and more t-shirts. But not an Navi one. I don't think I need a Navi one. And again, some more of this decoration on the roof. Kind of looks like bamboo, but it's shorter. And here is where you would buy your Banshee, but they don't have any. Uh, they have stuffed animals in here instead. Yeah. <laughs> I guess it's called the Rookery. Yeah. Um, they? they have little explorer kits. Oh, that's cool. Little eco explorer kits. Yeah, and lanterns. Yeah, no banshees today. And they have little. Uh, it says try me. I'm not sure what it does. Uh, try me. I'm not sure. Don't know. And again, here's another picture of my cat when she gets angry. Yeah, that's Jillian. That's exactly what she looks like. Yep. That's uh. Six she's luggage. looking for a snack. She doesn't oh look like this. She looks like the nice, calm, whatever this is, horse type creature. When she wants her snacks, she kind of looks like that. So, oh, and there's one more down here, which is uh, another that creature. More elegant looking. Yeah, he looks um, uh, hexapade with glowing effects. So, I think we're going to leave the gift store now and head on out. And there are so many, so many cool things in here. Little baby banshees for your babies, so they're nice and soft. Pretty cool, uh, has some extra legs. <laughs> All right. And out we go. Very cool stuff in there. All right, and I think we'll leave it from here. We're gonna go try to get one of those fruity drinks that glow in the dark, and we'll see see you then. Okay, so we're outside now, and we're underneath the floating island. Zoom out a little bit. I guess I can. Yeah. And that is just huge. We're just underneath it. It is really magnificent. And it has a, a water.
waterfall coming out of it. Which looks very inviting on a hot day like today. And it's got all, these are live plants. Those are not, I'm sure. Very cool, very cool. All right, so we'll move on. We're looking for one of those drinks, those Navi drinks. You gotta find it. Uh, did you find the drink yet? No, no, no. All I right. Found shade. You found shade. That's even more important. All right, let's go see if we can find one. Okay, so we took a little break after riding the flight of passage, and we got one of these uh, passion blossoms, and they have these little beads Night on blossoms. them. Night blossoms. I'm sorry. I think they illuminesce in the dark. Dark, but it's not dark now, so. Uh, it's not luminescent, but it's very good. I tried it. And we're going to let the average Joe try it and see if he likes it. Very sweet. said it's a, it's a pear and sweet apple. That's what it tastes like, apple. I couldn't. That's good. The apple's good. We're going to go up to the green. It is very sweet. Apple. The green is the apple. The pink is the pear. The green apple is definitely more sour. Is it? Mm. And the green is sour. <laughs> oh wow. I like the pear better than the green. It's good. The entire drink is good. Maybe you should mix it together as you drink it. Oh maybe. And don't drink it in layers. Now the little balls are full of passion fruit juice. And yes. they, does they you pop those in your mouth. That's pretty cool. That's why the straw is so big. It's a huge straw. Yeah, it is. I guess so you can get the little it's balls up there. It's a frozen drink, but it's good. Enjoy it's it. It's good, and it's a frozen drink, and it's 100 degrees out. So yeah. we'll sit here under this little cabana thing. It's a food place. We're sitting here. They have all kinds of food in there. And you can take a nice look at the floating mountain. That thing is really pretty cool. So we'll say goodbye for now. Thank <laughs> you.